There is a specific plinth function in Polyboard and there are two basic ways in which to create a plinth. Let's look at one now. First of all, I'm going to create a quick design box cabinet. I'm going to go over to the properties menu and where it says elevation I'm going to add a space below the cabinet, 100 millimeters in this case. Click enter. So now we've got an extra volume below the cabinet it's 100 millimeters high and the bottom has been raised by that amount to create this extra space. I'm going to click on this new volume and in the toolbar select add plinths. So here you can create your plinth left and right, front and back. I'm going to select all of those and just the front I'm going to recess by 50 millimeters. So that's the plinth created. Let's view it in 3D. I'm going to right click on the 3D tab, select new vertical tab group so we can see both. And let's see it in fact as a wireframe so it's even clearer. This option is used when the top and bottom have priority so they're overpassing the sides. You can see them here overpassing the sides. If the sides are overpassing the top and bottom, we do it slightly differently. So let's close this down completely and set up a new cabinet. This time I'm going to choose H000. With this method, the sides are now overpassing. So here to create the plinth, as before, we're going to put in an elevation select the volume, click on the plinth icon again. Now we can't add a plinth on the left and right, only front and back, which I'm going to do. To create the plinth on the sides, click on the volume and this time add an upright. Distance from the left, because we're doing the left side, I'm going to set to zero millimeters and now we've got the side plinth added. On the other side I'm going to do the same. Distance from the right this time, zero millimeters. View in 3D. And there we have it. The two basic ways to create a plinth depending on whether the sides are overpassing or underpassing. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.